guys, how's it going? It's Natalia Schneidmiller for everyone, anyone new, but for people who know me, welcome, welcome. For new people, welcome. I'm Natalia and what I do is I help women basically stop fighting with people they're close to and especially their son and I help them do that by helping them and teaching them and helping them figure out to how to manage their mind because we can change what's out there in the world. We can't change the other people, but we do have control. And so I help people, women gain that control back over what they can control their mind so that then they can stop fighting and have a beautiful life. So that's what I do. So I have also, I wanted to read you one of the reviews from my customer One of the clients left a review for me, which is so lovely. Thank you so much. And here's what she says. It's Andrea, mom of two. I truly enjoyed working with Natalia. She asks a lot of questions that help me see my problems, struggles, and situations from various angles. It gives me a good perspective on what is relevant and what is not. And thanks to that, I'm able to find solutions easier. At the beginning of working with Natalia, we saw each other every week. I learned a good amount of techniques that I can now use on my own. Nevertheless, I still reach out to her occasionally to get a new impulse and perspective. Natalia is one of a kind. She's very professional, but kind and fun at the same time. Always engaged and always ready to help. Well, that is true. I'm always happy to help and ready to help. So that's why I'm here. So just I'm reading you these reviews so you can get a little glimpse into what is possible for you and what other people have been able to create by working with me and by getting coached. So today I want to share with you again one of my stories. It's uh, something that I have learned from and now I want to, to tell you, okay, if there's something in your life that you want that you have not been able to create so far and you feel like it's impossible and there's a block somehow for you to get that, This one step that I'm going to share with you is absolutely essential in actually creating that thing that you want. And I have proven it in my own life many, many times. And now again, it happened today. And so I just need to share that with you because it's going to help you. Okay, so the one thing, this one thing, if you're still blocked, you must do. And this is it. You must, well, you must, you, I'm inviting you to consider to simply accept the worst case scenario. So let's, whatever you want, if you want something and if you're not having it and the worst case scenario is that you don't have it, the one step that you need to do to get what you want is that you need to accept the worst case scenario of not having it. So it's a bit contradictory, right? The one thing that I want for me to get it, I have to basically f- stop wanting it, right? So, and I'm not suggesting that you stop wanting it. I simply was saying that I, I want to word it this way. You need to accept the worst case scenario. You need to accept life without that thing that you want. So now I'm going to give you a couple examples of my, from my own life that I've done over the last f- how many years? So the first thing I've ever really was able to achieve something with uh, is with drinking wine. And I am by no means an alcoholic at all. It's just I wanted wine every evening. I was drinking it. I wasn't proud of it. I didn't want to be drinking it every night and especially not in front of my kids and it made me tired, blah, blah, blah. You know all the story, right? So the and as i was going through that process of you know releasing wine from my life i was getting coached all the things i was trying to have it i was planning of like well, what i would think uh, i was practicing like not having it during events you know i was kind of deconditioning my mind from associating it with celebrations i was doing i was doing all the work that i could possibly do to do that to release wine f- from my life And I remember the pivoting point, the point where after which I released it finally was the point where I actually made peace with me drinking wine for the rest of my life. So, right, so I wanted to stop drinking wine, but the worst case scenario in that situation for me was to drink wine all my life, which I didn't want. And 
as I did that acceptance, as I sat there and made peace with, you know what, what if this is it? What if it's, this is as good as it gets and I'm going to drink wine and you know, I'm going to have an extra couple pounds and I'm not going to be proud of myself and all the things. What if this is as good as it gets? And I did that acceptance in my own, in my own mind and I made peace with it. After that, I was able to release my drinking of wine that like within within those days like so that was the last step for me to release it because I made peace with what is and that and that has been the pattern that I have seen with all the like all the things after that and so let me give you another example um the other example that I did last year was releasing um weight, uh, overweight. So I did the work with the food, right? And I, I got coached and I signed up for a program and I really did the work on, okay, what do I need to do to lose the last 10 pounds? And again, my, my goal was to lose the last 10 pounds and stop emotional eating and to not never worry about food again. Guess what? The, the same thing happened. I did all the things that I needed to do and I was getting coached and I was doing different, experimenting with different um, protocols like diff, eating clean, eating partially clean or whatever. I was, uh, I did a lot of work in um, seeing my deprivation like if I was telling myself I can't eat something, then I would for sure overeat it. I, I did a lot of observing my own mind um, on how, what thoughts I was having when I would overeat and what thoughts I was having when I wouldn't overeat. And again, the last bit where uh, I gained freedom from having to worry about my weight is making peace with being overweight for the rest of my life. And from that freedom, I am able to make better decisions for myself and not be overweight and not have the struggle to lose weight and not have to worry about being overweight and gaining weight and having that chatter in my head again. And so the same, same pattern I'm seeing here is that I had to release, I had to make peace with the worst case scenario. It's just such a struggle with us when we don't make peace with it. We're like trying to avoid it by all means. Uh, let me see the other one. So after I, I, you know, got the life that I wanted with, with food and alcohol, um, then I thought, okay, well, what else? What else can I um, do? And over the last couple of years, I am running a business. And as a business owner, as a life coach, one of my worst case scenarios was not making any money and not having any clients. And as long as I had that uh, block in me and as long as I was really grappling like so hard to it and really wanting, you know, the clients and the money, I was really tense and uh, completely not creating um, the results that I wanted, you know. I, I did have clients and I did make money, but it was it felt like such a struggle. It felt um, not en- like not enough. It felt like I'm I'm not not having the life that I want. I'm not having the business that I want. I'm not the coach that I want to be. It just didn't feel at all like what I want. And so, as soon as I made peace with the worst case scenario, and the worst case scenario being that hey, I'm a coach without clients and I don't make any money and I made peace with that, guess what happened? The floodgates opened. The clients were attracted to me. The clients started coming and the money started flowing. Like everything was just exactly like in the other two examples. And all I had to do, the last like pivotal catalyst point was again making peace with the worst case scenario it works like magic you guys okay so the la- the latest example I'm gonna give you is today so today I got coached on being angry uh, I uh, I came to my coach and said oh my gosh I just 
don't want to be so angry, you know, my little kids, like, the twins are so cute, I love them so much, but also, like, I just don't want to be so angry sometimes when it takes too long to brush their teeth or whatever, I just, as I don't want to be so angry, and as I was being coached, I saw the same, and, and it's been happening for about a month or two that I, I feel like I'm stuck in the cycle where I can't break, um, I'm kind of stuck in the anger pattern. And so as I was getting coached, my coach helped me realize that again, I am not making peace with the worst case scenario. And the worst case scenario for me is actually what's happening already, that I'm angry at my kids and I'm not making peace with it. I'm like, this is not okay. This is not acceptable. I shouldn't be this angry. I should be totally loving and patient. I should, you know, they're so amazing. They're so cute. They're wonderful little kids. And here I am being angry. And so that um, not making peace with that worst case scenario has kept me stuck in anger for the last two months. I mean, not all the time, obviously, right? But I would be easily, I would easily go there and then I would hold it against myself and be angry. And, and then guess what? When I'm not making peace with this worst case scenario, what's happening is I'm actually being angry about being angry. So of course, then I would be so angry all the time that it'd be too much. I'm like, this is too much anger. So as, as the coaching session progressed and I realized this, it was, it was a quick turnaround. I said, oh, okay, I see it now. All I have to do is make peace with this worst case scenario, which is happening right now, which is actually totally fine. No one's hurt. No one died. You know, I apologize to the kids and they still love me and I still love me. And so all I need to, I know exactly what to do now because I've done it a few times already. All I have to do is, is just make peace with this worst case scenario And I'm going to have access to the best case scenario. Like I actually literally said that to my coach and she goes, oh, well, well done. (laughs) So it, it then it's, of course, I'm going to share this with you because, and because this now, you knowing this is going to be like a little seed in your brain and it's going to start growing and it's going to be there. You can't unlearn this now. And one day could be tomorrow, could be two years from now. You could experience this in your own life and you can be, you can realize, oh, I just did this thing. I made peace with the worst case scenario and I got my best case scenario. And then once you notice it, that you did that, maybe not on purpose, then guess what? You actually will be able to replicate it and do it again on purpose in other areas of your life. That is how cool this works because now you have awareness, later you will have experience, personal experience. And after that, you will have that you just practice doing it, just like playing basketball, right? So that is super cool. I uh, would love to hear your stories of how this works. Send me an email if you if this ever resonates and, and it works for you, I would love to hear about it. Um, if you need any help working through um, your obstacles and actually figuring out what's your worst case scenario, what's your best case scenario, then you can always come get coached. I'm happy I'm here for you. Or, and uh, you can find me on my website as usual, www.coachingnatalia.com uh, or send me an email, natalia at coachingnatalia.com. And if you are brand new to this podcast and you are struggling with your son, don't wait. Don't wait. Just come get help so that you can breathe a sigh of relief and move on and and have that good relationship with your son so then you can move on to more fun things to fix like like what I did right with my business like stop drinking that was fun because now I don't have to worry about that stop worrying about overweight don't overeat that's super fun all start creating something anything that's more fun so come get help I'm here for you always and there, don't hesitate to ask for help so um, I love you all have a great week and I'll talk to you soon bye